Hi, I'm Allie Landry and you are watching Around the Clock. Now today's hot topic is vaccinating our kids. It's definitely a hot topic here in Hollywood. Now Jenny McCarthy took a very hard stand against vaccinating. She feels that that was the main cause of her son's autism. Where you have Amanda Peet who says that parents who do not vaccinate their children are parasites. That's a pretty strong statement. So ladies, I want to know where do you stand? Are you vaccinating your children or not? Hollywood has a really strong voice. I know that when I heard Jenny McCarthy, you know, she was doing the whole talk show circuit and um, speaking about vaccinations and not vaccinating your children. It, it really, as a parent, it really forced me to take a hard look at it. You know, I really paid more attention when before I just wouldn't have questioned it and, you know, just move forward and vaccinated. Enough people have said something that have made people stop and think and make decisions. Before everyone was kind of just like, oh, you just get your kids vaccinated and everyone just did it. But I think just like me, you know, as soon as somebody puts something out there, it makes you think and do your own research and people have decided not to get their kids vaccinated. A lot more people have. But I do think that it's important to remember that you know, Hollywood and celebrities have access to a lot more than the average person has. So, you know, people in the public, I do have a responsibility to make sure that the information that they're giving is, is the best they can give, which means, like Layla said, doing all of your research and, and acknowledging that the decisions you make may not be best for everyone, but they're yours. You know, I think at the end of the day, as parents, I mean, we, no one wants to see their children sick. And we all want to do the right thing for our children. You know, for us, we do vaccinate. But as a parent, I think it's your responsibility to really educate yourself. But I also consulted with my doctor, and we felt like vaccines, vaccinations was absolutely perfect and right thing to do for our family. I am absolutely vaccinating my children. Um, you know, there hasn't been a research link between vaccines and autism. I know that that's a hot button issue. But I really believe that when we have to look at the, the big picture, it is safer to vaccinate our children than not vaccinate them. And in most schools, I mean, kids have to show a very clear immunization history in order to even go to school. So um, my kids have been vaccinated uh, at all of their appointments. And when it comes to other future vaccines, things like HPV, they will be vaccinated when they are of age as well. So I think vaccines are really important. Yes, like everything else, things come with risks, but I think um, it's worth taking. Layla? I did vaccinate my children. Um, I followed a, a different schedule than uh, what's recommended. I'm not one of those people that does anything just because somebody tells me to. I'm going to do um, you know, a certain amount of research so that I feel comfortable. And there were certain vaccines that I felt that my children just didn't need to get yet. One of them would be polio, um, one of them would be hepatitis B, and also MMR. Now, I'm good friends with Holly Robinson Pete, who also is one of the, you know, her, her child has autism. And, um, you know, she does more research than I do. So I was like, Holly, you know, give me the 411 on this. And she was like, oh, just hold off for a while. So I felt comfortable doing that um, to each parent their own. But um, MMR, I'll probably um, do once he turns four because then I'll be past that scary point. I just didn't want to take a chance with it. You know, I'm not sure if it causes autism or not, but for me, I just felt better um, knowing that I could push it off and then um, get, it, get it, give them the vaccine, the MMR vaccine. Okay, so in the past few years, people have definitely pulled back from vaccinating their children. And because of that, studies have shown that they have absolutely seen a rise in such diseases as whooping cough. Also, California has passed a bill that says parents who decide not to vaccinate their children, they want to put them through an educational course. Um, what are you guys' thoughts on that? I think it's really important that parents do educate themselves. And I think that, that a bill that encourages parents to get all of their facts, you know, the pros and the cons um, on vaccinations is, is actually a really good thing. It's more than most people do on their own, unfortunately. That's right. Layla? Yeah, I'm definitely not surprised that, um, you know, people aren't getting their kids vaccinated um, as much because of the information that's been put out there. That was the point of putting the information out there to enlighten people. Um, you know, it wasn't like it was easy. I mean, for me, when I decided to, to follow my own schedule or not get certain vaccinations, every time I go to the pediatrician, they have a talk with me. 
and they're trying to convince me of what I need to do, but I'm very strong-minded, and like I said, I'm gonna do what I feel is comfortable, and I'm definitely not gonna do something just because somebody's telling me to. So I've already made my decision for my reasons, and I'm sticking to it. But um, you know, I never would put down another parent for either getting their child vaccinated or not getting their child vaccinated. It's great that we're having this conversation, and this is definitely a very, very hot topic. So I'm glad we're having it, and I wanna hear all of you guys' comments. So please post below. Let us know if you're vaccinating, you're not vaccinating, if you're using a different schedule like Layla is. Um, and thank you for joining this episode of Around the Clock. Subscribe now. You'll never believe what our moms will be revealing on the next Around the Clock.